Welcome to Airways U5. It might be that you have never heard of Airways. They are a Chinese electric car manufacturer. The Asians are coming in fast and strong, while some European brands are still resting on their laurels. Although it's not so easy to just come in and convince people, especially us, grumpy, snobby Europeans. But perhaps a cool looking car is a good start. Now, A in Chinese means love. Ways stands for roads. Love, roads, you see? But love does not come easy. So what is it gonna be? Well, let's hit the road and find out what this brand new electric SUV is all about. Found myself in between the lines underneath your bed sheets. It started fun. Now, who says charging can't be elegant? Of course it can. When there is a will, there is a way. Beautifully hidden. Now, speaking of charging and batteries, we've got a 63 kilowatt hour battery and we can use those fast chargers up to 90 kilowatt hours. And we can take the battery from 20% to 80% in just 35 minutes. And that is called convenience. Could I want you more? Or when did I lose my perspective? Let's check what we've got under the bonnet. It is actually called the Frank front trunk. Very clever. We've got 45 liters of space. And what I have with me today is a thing called juice booster charger. Now this thing is worth 1,000 Swiss francs, 1,000 euros, and it can charge up to 10 times faster than your standard wall socket at home. It's like carrying your personal charging station on your back. Very, very good. And that is enough about the items under the bonnet. So how does the U5 feel to drive? Is it comfy? Is it not comfy? Well, we've got a soft suspension which absorbs all of the bumps, potholes and imperfections on the road. Of course, being electric, as you trot around town, it is very quiet. But even when you hop on the motorway and pick up quite a bit of speed, there's no tire noise, there's a little bit of wind noise. But you see, being electric, just because we've got no roaring V8, we think, what was that? Something's wrong, what was it? We tend to forget about the physics. And what is human nature designed to do? Let me ask you. Human nature is designed to complain. Even if we're not given opportunity to complain, we'll gladly find such opportunity. Overall, the U5 is relaxing, it is peaceful, and the ride here is chilled and very easy. Now, speaking of speed, let's put this car into sport mode. The button to change your driving mode is conveniently located on the steering wheel, so you don't have to fiddle with the screen. And let's floor this thing, shall we? <laughs> Electric cars, instant torque. I love that. We've got just over 200 horsepower, 310 newton meters of torque. Now the declared 0 to 100 is 7.5 seconds, but I will not proceed with the launch control in Switzerland because it is very likely I will in fact end up in a prison cell. But it sure does feel quick, this thing. <laughs> and what's interesting, the soft suspension doesn't seem to have put stain on the handling dynamics. The car doesn't swing left and right. We've got plenty of grip. The power is being sent to the front wheels. And on a twisty road, this car sure does not feel like an empty vessel. And on to the boot space. We've got 432 liters of space. If this is not enough to carry all your clutter, you can always fold the back seats down and you will get a whopping 1,675 liters of space. But if you need more, well, there is more because we've got underfloor storage, 107 liters. So you cannot complain about the lack of space here. 
the shape of the boot is very practical. The floor is completely flat, which means you can easily slide items out and put them back in. And that is enough about the boot space. And sometimes I get asked, Anna, why bother with twisty roads? Well, let me ask you a question. When is life a straight road? Very often, it is full of vicious twists and turns, full of cruel surprises. And sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. But the one thing is certain, as long as you get up and prepared, nothing can stop you. Remember that when selecting your next SUV. And what about being a passenger in the U5? So, I have adjusted both front seats for my height, which is just over 1.7 meters, 5 foot 7. And look at this legroom. I mean, is this a joke? No, it's not. It's the U5 woman. The legroom is excellent. A very good headroom. I love this panoramic sunroof. A bit of storage down here. Pink glasses, which clearly belong to a child. Well, not anymore. They belong to me. Ooh, Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take her. What about the middle seat? Well, actually, the floor here is completely flat, which means you can easily carry three adults. No problems at all. Actually, this is brilliant. And if you're not carrying a person in the middle seat, this actually serves as a headrest. Sorry as an armrest, I mean pink glasses and clearly my brain is gone. As an armrest, you've got space for your drinks down here. Overall, the space here is very, very good. Well done, anyways. Well done. Before we talk about the cabin, what do you think about the exterior paint color? It is called electric blue. I really like it. Now, Selecting extras and choosing specifications for your next car can sometimes make you feel like the world is your oyster, but oh boy, your wallet better be thick then. Here, all colors are standard because Airways is all about simplicity. With the U5, we only have two trims, Excite, which costs 40,000 Swiss francs in Switzerland, about 40,000 euros and this trim, which is called Prime, 45,000 Swiss francs. Now, the difference is the different seats, for example. So with the Excite, we've got fabric seats here. We've got full-on leather. I really like them. They're soft, they're comfortable, they look good. Although I would personally go for the cream color, but that's just me. All right, let's jump into practicality, shall we? So, a large bowl of water tears. Can you fit that in the door bin? Yes, you can. It's actually a big pocket. Can you fit that in here? No, but you can fit a small bottle. We've got plenty of storage space down here. Very well. Do we have glove box? No, we do not have a glove box, but we do have something special for the Swiss market. Hmm. They were very good with negotiating it. We actually have a laptop, a leather laptop bag that's got hooks here. It's got hooks here so that your computer does not fly around. I like it. Actually, I think it would suit me. Do you think Airways will notice if it goes missing? Oh, well, put that to the side because I am Polish. I've got to live up to my name, right? Okay, so the quality of the materials, the fit and finish is actually very good. Nothing squeaks, nothing wobbles. Everything is well put together. The steering is a flattish top, flattish bottom. I like it. Clean and simple layout with your shortcut buttons. We've got digital driver's display with actually three screens. Well, my, one sort of main one and two small ones aside. On the left, I've got my consumption. In the middle, I've got my speed, temperature, battery. On the right, I've got my media. You can customize the look to suit your desires. I like it. It's, it's crystal clear, just the way I like it. Infotainment screens is a touch screen. Simple, straightforward. We actually have what's called the rapid control, so for all the lighting, doors, windows. Beautiful sunroof, by the way, so you can close and open that. The shade, you don't, you can also control so it closes bit by bit. So, for example, I've got now fully open, but sometimes I want to half open. You know, women, we have different sort of bizarre wishes. 
Okay, you can plug in your iPhone, for Apple CarPlay and Android, of course. Simple, straightforward. Okay, that's good. What do we have done here? We've got a gear lever, petite sort of round. I like it. And here we've got climate control. This is a touch screen, but it's simple. I'll I tell you, unlike some of the sliders, different manufacturers are producing. Temperature control, very good. You know, it is very hot outside. That's one thing about electric cars I like, because nobody's going to come to you and say, oh, can you please turn off your engine, woman? You are in the car park. Well, <laughs> I don't have to turn my engine off because I don't have one. So I'm comfortable and cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Love that for me. So climate control very well. And actually, I have to say, I, I, I briefly, I thought I've lost my mind because I put my mobile phone here and all of a sudden, it was gone. Well, actually, this is a secret pocket. The secret pocket that serves as wireless mobile charging. Very, very good. 12 volt socket. You've got USB port. Very well. And this screen closes to hide all your secrets over the cabin. Actually, it is lovely. I am selfish. I am flawed, but I can love. And so I wear this smile. For the place above. The steering is nice and light, it's got a natural feel about it, but no, you don't have to twist and turn until your arm falls off. It actually does the job. In fact, the very first thing I said when I hopped into this car for the first time was, wow, it's got a good turning circle because it's very easy to maneuver this car in and out of car parks. Now this combined with good visibility, big rear window, no blind spot in the front, sitting slightly higher up and great cameras is exactly what you should be expecting from a solid daily driver. I don't care if you drag my name all through the mud. The declared electric range here is 400 kilometers. Extreme heat over 33, 34 degrees Celsius, so air conditioning blowing hard. Driving in the city, you can actually achieve this figure. Now, the very same weather conditions, B roads, motorway, and of course, what comes with it is speed. And as we know, this is the biggest thief of electric juice. I was able to get just under 350 kilometers, which is no bad, no bad at all. So let's wrap things up, shall we? If you are looking for a very spacious, comfy, well-priced electric with good tech, something that's still a little bit unique, cute, quirky, then this might just be the car for you. And as for me, love or no love? Well, I have to admit, I came into this with a pinch of prejudice. Although it wasn't as bad as with the South Koreans or Japanese, which both, by the way, have proven me oh so wrong. But you see, the thing about life, <laughs> funny thing about life, that history does like to repeat itself. So here I am. <laughs> but you see, love always entails an element of statistics, meaning sampling and consistency. After all, this has been our first date. It's gone very, very well. But you know, don't push, don't ask the girl to overcommit. Give her some time. So I'm really looking forward to what Aways is going to bring next. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful day, whatever that you're up to. And I shall see you all very, very soon. Bye. Yeah.